Arguments regarding access to abortion medication continue on even after the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Following a, judge's, a Texas judge's suspension of the abortion drug Mifepristone, the first pill in the two-pill process, Governor Gavin Newsom has started stockpiling the medication Misoprostol, the bill responsible for ultimately terminating the pregnancy. 23 ABC's Ruby Bavera spoke with local officials to see how this could have a potential effect on local women. She joins us now in studio. Ruby. That's right, Mark. U.S. federal judge Matthew Kaczmarek makes the argument to overturn the FDA's approval for Mifepristone, claiming that the medication is flawed and invalid. Sparking controversy across the state, I spoke with a local organization who tells me although they believe in a woman's right to choose, Governor Newsom's decision is not a valid option. Foolish, personally. Um, he is stockpiling not a life-saving medication, but a life-taking medication. Executive and Director of the Bakersfield Pregnancy Center, Erin Rogers, says this decision is not a way to support women in her pregnancy, but simply a way to terminate a pregnancy. Rogers says the Pregnancy Center does not supply either medication, however, does give information and aftercare options to potential patients who are thinking about having an abortion. We are here to support her. We also have a um, group that meets that is for after abortion care, and she is welcome to be a part of that. That service is also free and confidential. Medical clinic manager at the Bakersfield Pregnancy Center, Stephanie Puffenbarger, says the use of these two medications is not an effective way to have an abortion and could lead to more health complications. The statistics show that one out of every four to five pregnancies, that's a 20 to 25 percent rate, um, end in miscarriage naturally. And if that's the case, then you don't need to take a chemical pill on your body and cause all the complications and the bleeding and all the things if it's naturally happening anyway. Puffenbarger says the abortion medication could contribute to a higher failure rate and increase the risk of delivering a baby with birth defects. However, according to a clinical trial done by Ibis Reproductive Health in 2021, 78% of participants had a complete abortion without the need of surgical intervention when only using the misoprostol medication. President and CEO of Planned Parenthood Marmonte, Stacy Cross, agrees with the fact that only using the misoprostol pill does increase health risks, but she says they are mainly centered around the comfortability of the patient. When we at when we were able to add Miffy to that, it just makes things uh, better for the person that is having a medication abortion. It helps the completion rate and it also helps manage the pain for the patient. Cross also says this decision can also benefit women across Across the state. Well, I think it's it's uh, something that our governor has done, and it'll be good for us to have access to that medication if we need it. Planned Parenthood does say that whatever the courts rule, they will still continue to provide the misoprostol medication to those in need. As well as in a statement given by given to us by CSUB spokesperson, the abortion medication is available to students and can be administered on campus free of charge. In studio, Ruby Rivera, 23 ABC News, connecting you. Ruby, thank you. The Guttmacher Institute estimates, estimates that approximately 154,000 abortions took place in California during 2020. Additionally, that same year, the Institute estimates that nearly 27% of all pregnancies in California ended with an abortion. Lastly, also in 2020, approximately 16.6% of U.S. abortions occurred in California.